confidence and truly you know, knowing you can do it. So um, I think this team has that. We're confident. We stay loose. It's a great group to be around, so I can't complain. How did your rigorous road, rigorous road schedule help you prepare for an environment like this against an opponent like this? Well, we, we've seen it all. I mean, we got an experienced veteran team, so you know we made the Final Four last year. We've been in situations like this. Big Ten is grueling. You know, every game it's it's, it's tough. It's a tough win. So it, it's great to be able to play in, in big moments. I know myself and Frank and Trey and Duye, even Sam. I mean, we, we feel like we've been through it all. You know, we've been in huge games. We've been part of heartbreaking losses, huge wins. So, you know, this was just another game. Josh, can you explain what happened on what, what you guys did better on those three trips that they violated the shot clock? And what, what was working there for you guys? Well, they were definitely wanting to run the clock down. So they were going to run it down to about 10, 12 seconds and then get into a ball screen or a clear out. Um, so we were able just to stay, stay solid, you know, what we've been trying to do all game, not give them anything easy from three, and then make it tough on them in the post. You know, they, they're going to get their post touches, they're going to get the ball to the big fella, uh, Towns, but we want to make it hard on him, not let him catch it too deep. And we were able to kind of get it out of his hands and, and make a guard make a play and uh, just do a good job. I mean, that's that's what we've been preaching all week and all year. Josh, there were times this year where the defense kind of got criticized a little bit with three shot clock violations. I mean, you, got, you guys really care. Yeah, I mean, we're still we still pride ourselves on defensive end. Obviously, we better we're better offensively. We got one of the better offenses in the country. But when it comes down to it, we're. We still consider ourselves a tough, defensive-minded team. You know, that's what we're going to hang our hats on. And today, I mean, we went seven minutes without a field goal. So those things happen, but you gotta, you got to rebound. you got to play defense. you got to make it hard on them. And we were able to just stick around uh, even going through that drought. How did you make Harrison work tonight? Not giving him anything easy. Um, you know, he likes, he likes his step in threes, you know, just watching film and stuff. Uh, half of his shots are from three, so just try not to give him anything easy from from there. And uh, got a couple in transition and and off ball screens, but you can't take everything away from them. You know th they were really looking to come off those ball screens and and lob it up to the rim to Collie Stein and those big guys. Um, so we took that away and tried to make you know those guards make plays, and, and they made a lot of them, but fortunately not enough. Is this gonna be closure from last year? No, no. If we win Monday, then 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 it's good. Uh, we. It, it had nothing to do with revenge for us, to be, to be completely honest. Um, we just wanted to play, you know, the best team in the country. We wanted to get a shot at them, see where we're at, and clearly we're a pretty good team ourselves. So, but we got one more. Three shot clock violations. How badly did you need them, and how hard is it to get three of those against a team like Kentucky? It's obviously very difficult, but we were just doing what we, we could defensively, you know, um, forcing them into tough shots over us. Uh, making them shoot through us, over us, like I said. So um, you know, that's where you can kind of give teams trouble. And, and they did a really good job all game long, getting to the rim, hitting some open shots. Ha the Harrisons played great. So got to give them credit. But you know, we're still a defensive team, so that's what we always do. What's the credit Decker being clutch? What more can you say at this point about Sam Decker? He's said it already. He's not that clutch yet. We'll see what he's got Monday night. So he's good so far, but I think he's got more. You know. Who gets the credit for Decker taking the charge? I don't know if he's still <laughs> All year. <laughs> we, we joked around after that. He said that was my first charge I've ever taken. So, um, Coach Ryan gets credit. <laughs> I mean, he's the one who's getting on him. You know, th that's the type of plays that he can make. And see, that's this. That's the kind of stuff that wins you ball games. I mean, Sam obviously makes huge plays, and and Coach Ryan knows he has so much more in him to help the team. And that play right there shows. You know, that might be the biggest play in the game. So that's that shows. Those plays can help you win. How can you explain being down 60 to 56, an offensive team getting six straight stops, and rallying the way you did against a team that arguably people thought was the best in the country? Uh, they were the best team in the country, but um, it was it was good to just make plays when we needed to. Um, we've been doing all, same thing we've been doing all year long. We just kept sticking with our game plan. We we played in big games before. We understand situations, so. Uh, we were just going to stick with it, and we felt like we were going to make plays and, and make enough of them to win games, and um, tonight was just one of those examples. It seems, it seems like the defining thing about like big games is the shot clock's running out, it's almost the end of the possession, and you have to make points. That, of course, though, is how you guys are going to play. You'll play the full 35 seconds. Do you think that helps you in big games, that it's a little more closer to your ordinary style? Yeah, we're definitely used to it, and at the end, they seemed to, when they had that two, four, five-point lead, they kept wanting to run down the shot clock, you know, get run as much clock as they could, and you know that that plays in our hands a little bit. So we were we were fine with that. If we could just get stops and get rebounds, 
for the most part, we rebounded pretty well, which was a big part in the game. So uh, we made enough plays offensively to, to come out with the win, which is great. And what was yeah. your relation like as those final seconds ticked off? You're up four, they have a shot. You know, those final seconds. Just get a stop. Anything you can to get a stop. I mean, we're at the end there, one stop away from going to the national championship. So that was our full mindset. Once we got it, it was a great feeling. Uh, but quickly flip the page because we got one more to do. Josh, you've played more games than anybody in school history. What does it mean to play in this game that many will remember as one of the greatest in school history? Uh, it, it's great. Uh, it's great to be a part of huge wins uh, for the school. You know, I love the, I love. Madison, I love Wisconsin, you know, the, the university itself. So this is what we wanted to bring back to the, to the university. And, you know, this will be one, like you said, probably the biggest game in history until Monday night. So we'll have another one. How much did that mindset it, of it, it was not about Kentucky, it was about playing for a championship, help you guys as a team not get caught up in what this was in playing Kentucky? I mean, it's just another game. You know, we, we knew if we wanted to achieve our ultimate goal, we were, we were probably going to have to play Kentucky and we were going to have to beat Kentucky. So... Um, it was just another step that we were, we were expecting, and we expected to win. We had confidence that we could, we could win the game if we, if we, we played well. Uh, so, you know, we, we didn't want to worry too much about them. We obviously did our scouting report and all that to understand what, what we needed to focus on. But really it came down to us and, and our effort and just us making plays. Josh, what is it about this team that allows you guys to close out good teams down the stretch? Well, we got a lot of experience. You know, we, we've, we've played in big games, pretty much everything. I feel like I've been through it all. I feel like a bunch of other guys on our team have as well. So we understand situations. We're, we're not afraid of any moment. And it's, it's great to have, have that on your side. So you got some good players, too, who make plays, and that's huge. You had a huge, huge edge on the second chance points in the first half. How much of a, of a factor was it? And, uh, and, and, I mean, you talked about the importance of rebounding going into this game. What does it mean to be able to execute in that area? It was a surprise for sure. Uh, you felt like if we if we were winning the second chance points battle, we would be up by 20 or something because that's that's something that they're really good at, and not that we aren't good at it, but they're the best in the country at it. So um, it was a big part of the game. We wanted to keep them off the glass. That was probably our number one priority. And for the first half, we did that really well, and really for the whole game except for one or two possessions, I think. So it was a big part of the game for sure. How 